In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to your Shopify store. So this can be done very simply and easily. So here's what you need to do. So first, open up Shopify, go to your store and go to the dashboard. Then go to settings in the bottom left hand corner. And then you want to go ahead and go to domains. So here it is. Click on domains and on your store, you're not going to have all of these domains. You're just going to have the, the default Shopify one. But nonetheless, what you can do is you can click on connect existing domain and then you can type out your domain here. Now I'm going to be using GoDaddy. So if I go to domain, I can see all of my domains. In this case, I've only got one and I'll just use this as an example. So knowledgebasehub.com. So I'm going to copy this. Then I can enter in the domain here. So www. Then paste in my domain knowledgebasehub.com. Then click next. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and connect the domain. And to do this, we need to add some records inside the back end of GoDaddy. So go to GoDaddy, then click here where it says manage DNS. And this is very simple here and anyone can do it. Just do exactly as I do. So in DNS, you want to scroll down here and you might have some records already. Now we're going to add an A record and a C name record. So if you've got a C name record that you can delete, delete it. I'm going to delete this one here because this is for Google Sites. It's for a completely different thing. So now I'm going to go add new record and we're going to go type and we're going to choose C name. Now here, I'll leave this in the description below. This is what you need to add, but you need to add it in specific places. So create a C name record then for the name www. Then for the value, you just want to go ahead and copy shops.myshopify.com and then paste it in here. Leave TTL on default and click save. That should then add this C name record, no problem. So there we go, there's that done. Now we need to add one more record. We need to add an A record. And then here we need to type at. And then for the value, you want to just copy this IP address here. Again, it will be in the description. Then paste. Then you can go ahead and save this A record. And that's going to update that and it should all be good. Now we can go back to Shopify. We can now click verify connection and Shopify is going to see if it can connect to your domain. As you can see that did that pretty much instantly. Now it might get a bit confusing here because we've got a lot of domains, but now you can see I've got knowledgebasehub.com and knowledgebasehub.com here. What I need to do is click on these and I can then change domain type, make it a primary domain. And I want to do that for both of these. So change domain type, primary domain. And now give it like a couple of hours to update. It might do it instantly, but if we copy this domain and we now paste it. Yeah, so there you go. It now redirects to our Shopify store. It's done it instantly for me and it's that easy. Obviously, I haven't opened my store, so it's asking me to give a password. But anyway, that's how you can do it. I hope that helped you out. Let me know in the comment section below if it did.